Good evening, this is Bill Bonds reporting from Los Angeles, where the biggest story since the moon landing broke this morning when two apes talked, I repeat, talked to the Presidential Commission of Inquiry. With me this evening in the studio is Dr. Otto Haslein. He is a senior scientific advisor at the White House, and he'll be giving us his views on the crucial statement made at this morning's session. And Dr. Haslein, as I recall, when you asked the male ape where he was from, the female replied, from your future. Yes. You believe that? Absolutely. I think it was the only explanation. Well, and maybe the explanation needs some explaining. Now, uh, you've written several learned dissertations on uh, the nature of time. Could you explain in terms that our viewers at home will understand how, for instance, a person or persons uh, could travel from time past to mm -hmm. time future, mm -hmm. or indeed uh, vice versa? Mr. Bonds, I think that time can only be fully understood by an observer with the godlike gift of infinite regression. Could you explain infinite regression for us? Roll the film. I'd be more than happy to. As a matter of fact, I came prepared to do just that. Now, here's a painting of a landscape. Now, the artist who painted that picture says something is missing. What is it? It is I myself who was part of the landscape I painted. So he mentally takes a step backward or regresses and paints a picture of the artist painting a picture of the landscape. But still something is missing, and that something is still his real self painting the second picture. So he regresses further and paints a third. A picture of the artist painting a picture of the artist painting a picture of the landscape. But because something is still missing, he paints a fourth and a fifth, until he paints a picture of the artist painting 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 a landscape. So, infinite regression, then, is... It is the moment when our artist has regressed to the point of infinity and himself becomes part of the landscape he painted and is both the observer and the observed. Well, now, in that peculiar condition, what would he be observing if he were observing, let's say, time? He would perceive, Mr. Bonds, that time is like a freeway with an infinite number of lanes, all leading from the past into the future, however, not into the same future. A driver in lane A may crash when a driver in lane B survives. It follows that a driver, by changing lanes, can change his future. Now, Mr. Bonds, I do not find it difficult to believe that in the dark and turbulent corridors of outer space, the impact of some distant planetary, even galactic disaster, jumped the apes from their present into ours. And indeed, the proof lies in their arrival among us, and in their spoken, and I repeat, spoken testimony. Thank you very much, Dr. Hesline. It's certainly the most incredible story this reporter has ever covered.